Hey guys, so I just filmed this everyday makeup look. Um, it is my first ever YouTube video, so hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you guys want to look and get this look and see how I got this look, um, hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so first I'm going to start off with my Murad with my moisturizer, and I'm using the Murad Hydro. Next up, I'm gonna be priming my face. I'm gonna be using the YSL primer. I'm using my lip balm, which is the Tatcha Camellia lip balm. Comes with Gold Flex, but the Gold Flex actually don't show up. And I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown color corrector in the color peach. I like using this color corrector because majority of the color correctors are either too orange or they're like too yellow or like they're serious. Like you need to put a concealer on top of this. This color corrector, it's a little dirty. I've been using this for a long time, but um, this color corrector, when you put it on your eyes, uh, underneath your dark circles, like it doesn't show as harsh as like it would. Next concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer. This is actually really, really like this concealer of mine. Hopefully, it'll focus. Work. I'm also in the color medium, so. It's a Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder. Yeah. Okay, so for like, just for contour and stuff like that, I like to use the Cover and Quan Color Contour Book and Volume 2 Contour Book, and it's the Art of Sculpting and Defying. When you use it so much that it's dirty, but you gotta clean it up because it's my first YouTube channel. I'm not trying to show up that first impression, you know? So, the palette is this right here. I really do like this palette. Um, I do use the Sephora VIB Rouge brush. It's like a like this. It's a little dome. It's more of an oval shape and I feel like it's really good for contouring that, especially supernatural contouring because I feel like you don't want it to be too strong of a line but this kind of like diffuses diffuses it. And so I'm just gonna start off with the contour color first and I usually go tip down. <laughs> and I just go from ear, starting from your ear all the way down to your mouth like this this area that's where I usually put it I apply it and I just kind of like nestle it in there but I don't want it too much here because I feel like that looks much more fake than what it is and then I just kind of blend it up I blend it upwards not downwards because I feel like because when you do it downwards it does get a it looks like a little muddy in pictures I'm not saying the color is muddy it's just when you blend it downwards, it kind of doesn't go with the effect of a contoured face. And just a little on the chin. I don't do this on a daily basis, but I do this usually for pictures or for like videos or something like that. It just kind of like creates like a difference between your face and your neck. 
more chiseled jawline. There's a reason why this thing gets so dirty. It's like, I do not even treat it right. Oh my God. <sighs> Put too much on. <laughs> oh, this is such a mess up. Okay. So when that happens, this is what I usually do. I go back with my concealer brush. And then I just kind of go just to kind of like diffuse it with my own skin color again um i'll either set it with a powder or i won't but i feel like even if you do or you don't um the powder is very pigmented so if you're in a rush and you do accidentally put a little bit too much you're gonna be late you're gonna be late girl <laughs> the candlelight cream highlighter um, which is just this color right here the cream one it's a really nice like dewy looking cream color and I just take the side of the brush not the middle part which I like not the fatter part this area which I used for the contour I'm gonna take the side of it and I'm just gonna top just gonna put these on the tops of my cheekbones like right here, not too close to my eye. So I like to put some here. I like to put some here. I don't like putting it all the way down on the like straight down on the bridge of my nose because I feel like when I take pictures my nose looks straight but my nose is actually a little indent here so it creates more of a button look when you do it this way so you put some here then you put some right here then you put some here that looks nice and then you put some I'm just gonna put some here I like putting it onto my cute as well just like to accentuate it I like to accentuate it on a daily basis, I don't like to put a lot of blush on because I feel like I just to do is I take my hourglass bronzer, take my hourglass bronzer and radiant bronze light. It looks like these. It's such a pretty bronzer. Honestly, it's actually worth it investing yourself, investing your money, actually into very good bronzers. And I'm just gonna take this brush that I found at the dollar store. No joke, one of the best brushes that I found. It dries so quickly and it's so fluffy and it's extremely dirty. It's a good brush. I never actually thought it would be such a good brush. So I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna be taking the same palette, the Kevin Aquan one. And I'm gonna start off with this color, which is cool tan. I'm gonna put cool tan in my crease, not too much. I'm gonna put this in the outer corner, and then that, this. Oh, I'm also taking a NYX brush. NYX brush number 17. It's a nice little fluffy brush. Tap, they're very powdery. It's actually very good. Ruddy Earth, which was the darker shade. Then I'm just going to take Starlight. Then I'm going to move on to mascara. So I just recently started using these two. Both by Lancome. Yeah, both of them are Lancome. This one is the Seals Booster XL. And it's kind of like a white primer, kind of like an eyelash primer. Um, and then the one that I'm going to put on top is the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I don't know. I was about to say what level was done, but we're not done. 
Next, I'm just gonna do eyes. And I have this one pencil that I, it's just one of those like beauty supply store things. Um, I went to Chloris or Chloris or whatever. And I also don't know the company either. Wow, okay. So I don't know the company, I just know the color is dark brown. Okay, so this is, actually not, it's not the final look. Um, what I forgot to do before is to actually spray my face. I actually go over with a setting spray. This one I'm just trying out and it's the Too Faced, the Coconut Hangover, no, this is the Hangover 3-in-1 Primer Spray. <laughs> Finish the look with, not my look, but I usually go with them. Or I'll go in with any kind of like natural looking lip liner or lipstick. Um, currently I'm obsessed with the NARS. The NARS, hold on. The NARS Satin Lip, what was it? Satin Lip Pencil and their names. I can't believe their names, that's a killer. Um, the Isola Bella, it's a color, Isola Bella. Isola Bella. Also I forgot to set my eyebrows. So I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and I use the color Espresso. So this is my final look. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Actually, it's very natural. This is usually what I do on a daily basis. Like I don't want to do too much stuff. If you guys do have any comments, suggestions, anything, please don't hesitate. Just all down below. Just put them all down below. And if you like the video, also give me a thumbs up as well. Thank you.